In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add the DKIM record to your domain. In my previous video, I showed you how to do it for the SBF record, and now it's gonna be DKIM. As I mentioned previously, if you set up your Google Workspace account and you buy your domain during the Google Workspace account setup process, then your SBF and DKIM records are both gonna be added to your domain automatically. And I'm gonna show you that right now inside Squarespace, which is where the domain is being registered. However, I'm still gonna show you a couple other things so that you know how to manually add it and also manually check that it's there so that if you're watching this video and you didn't do exactly what I showed in my previous videos, you can still do it with whatever registrar or setup process you're using. I'm inside my Squarespace account and you'll see I'm in the DNS setting section. And if I scroll down, you're gonna see that this record and is already added by default. So I didn't add this, it was already there. And as you can see, it says V equals DKIM1, meaning that that DKIM record is already added. I didn't do anything, which is great. That's one of the benefits of setting up your professional email account with Google Workspace and buying your domain during that setup process. It gets done for you automatically, it makes life a lot easier. If you go to this article on our blog, and then you scroll down to this DKIM section, you'll notice that there's a link saying this guide. If you click that, it's gonna open up an article from Google. And this is an article from Google that shows you how to add your DKIM record. And the reason why I'm showing this to you is because I just want to show you what it's supposed to look like according to Google's article. And then you can just look at that and then verify that it's also showing the same thing in Squarespace just to make sure that you've done it correctly you'll notice that in this article, they haven't even updated this article because it's still saying if your domain provider is Google Domains, Google automatically creates a DKIM key. And Squarespace acquired Google Domains relatively recently. And so even Google isn't updating the documentation. But anyways, I'm going to click the turn on DKIM in your admin console button. So I click that. And the reason why I clicked turn on DKIM signing is because as I mentioned earlier, the DKIM record is already added to the domain in Squarespace automatically, meaning that all I have to do is turn it on now. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna click, it says sign into your Google admin console. So I'm already signed in, which is this page right here. And what we wanna do is go to menu apps, Google Workspace, Gmail. So we're gonna to go to menu, we're gonna find the section that says apps. We're gonna go Google Workspace, and then we're gonna click Gmail. And then the next thing is to click authenticate email. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click authenticate email and it's gonna open this up. And then the next step is in the selected domain menu, select the domain where you want to turn on DKIM. Go back here and it says select a domain. It's already selecting my domain by default. So as you can see, it has emailchasernow.com selected by default because that's the only domain that I have on this Google Workspace account and as it says, not authenticating email in the status section, that means that we obviously have to make sure that it is authentic authenticating. And then it says, click the start authentication button. When DKIM setup is complete and working correctly, the status at the top of the page changes to authenticating email and DKIM. So basically we wanted to say this, authenticating email with DKIM in this section um, at the top and Right now it's not because currently it says domain pending. And this is normal. When you create a brand new Google Workspace account and you purchase your domain during that account creation process and do all the stuff, it's gonna take up to 40 hours for this to work. So what I recommend that you do is maybe come back the following day and log back in here, come to this section of your Google admin account. And you wanna just make sure that it's showing that the DKIM is turned on correctly and that it is saying authenticating email DKIM. And once you see that, that's how you know it's working well.